I carried a training advert in my pocket for about 15 years. Someone was advertising to train me, to train taxidermists, and eventually, uh, when the corporate world decided my brain was no good, I decided it was time to go taxidermy. My name's uh, John Whitford. I'm in Langwarren, I'm 20, 20 Ethel Court in Langwarren. I've been here a few years. I was up the bush previously. So I'd had jobs done, I wasn't satisfied. So I uh, just started doing it myself. I purchased uh, what was then VHS videos from America and booklets and just trained myself from there. And that's 20 odd years ago. Main materials, there's a heck of a lot of them. You lose a hell of a lot of borax. You lose a lot of foam. You paint everything, so there's an enormous amount of paint work done. There's mache's. Uh, we use a lot of clay. Uh, artificial eyes, and we use hundreds of pins. All difficult. Every one of them difficult, but the actual reconstruction of some of the animals are more difficult than others. In the painting of some of your fish are difficult, painting of trout particularly are very difficult. Uh, they have spots all over them, there's three colours in each spot and you've got to paint all that on them. Other paint jobs, you have to learn how to paint and you have to understand the colours. Yeah. Colours um, spray one over the other and suddenly you've got a totally different colour. You have to understand your painting and that's yeah. difficult. Attitudes a while back to some of the exotic species was, were uh, frowned upon. I've never done those. I've done pets, uh, native stuff for fauna parks, uh, fish for the fishing guys, and uh, most of the other stuff I do is feral. Uh, more recent years, the last five years, there's a huge demand. Um, the younger people looking for the Tuscan look in their houses, and they're all decorating their houses with them. And you can actually do, uh, do jobs, and they'll hang them up in their houses. I have docket book number 17 there and there's 50 pages in it, so 17 by 50 is uh, something like a thousand. Um, and there's pl plenty that I did uh, weren't in the book when I first started, so there's probably 1500. The trophy stuff, yeah it's nice to get them, and nice to do them properly, they've got to be done right and they won't leave easily done right. Uh, that's just personal pride. But, um, the pets give me more pleasure than most, I think, just to give them back what they've lost. Working from home uh, has a lot of benefits in much that you can be here at any time. Uh, and people do come at any time. I've a gentleman coming six o'clock tonight. With my grey hair, I can do a few hours each day if I want to do them. If I don't want to do any, I don't do any. Um, the only the problem with working at home is there's always home duties looking at you and your wife doesn't understand why you're not washing the dishes or something like that. <laughs> I've never done my own pets. Uh, I have, I've had several of these dogs that you see in the backyard uh, and I've buried them all. Uh, far too emotional even working on others to so try and work on your own. Yeah. It's just in my system always has been in my system and that's why I'm pretty good at it because you have to be good at it and you have to love doing it and I always did so um, and I uh, most of them come and go and I've been at it for a long time.